welcome to welcome back to my channel so today I thought I would do a little tour of my vanity show you guys um, how I store my makeup and also my whole makeup collection so let's just get into it this so this is where I get ready in the morning just right in front of this window and this is my desk it's from Ikea um, I would not recommend getting a black desk for makeup just something I've learned because makeup like gets all over it and I have to clean it off all the time but this is where I get ready it's just yeah black desk from Ikea down here is a basket where I have all of my hair stuff hair tools and stuff and then this is the top of my desk so here I have my mirror that I use to get ready um it is from impressions vanity actually James bought it for me for Christmas it uh lights up which is what I really like about it is there's a switch on the back and then it lights up so you can get a little more light on your face in the, if it's dark in the morning and turns off um so yeah so that's my mirror and then these is the top of my desk so these two cups hold all of my brushes this one is from Williamson this one's from Anthropology, and this one's from William Sonoma they're both just cute little a mugs and then I have all of my brushes in here this one holds all my face brushes and this one holds all my eye and eyebrow brushes and stuff so I have a variety of brushes from ego tools from elf from BS small which you can find on Amazon uh, and real techniques in here and then same with my eye brushes same brands um, I keep my skincare right next to it. This is just my morning daily skincare routine, so stuff I put on right before I do my makeup. Um, if you haven't seen my skincare routine video, I will link that for you guys. But uh, this is my simple moisturizer that I use, Neutrogena Sunscreen, Belief Eye Balm, Clinique Eye Balm. Um, this is a Biosance oil. This is um, an eye this is caffeine eye solution from The Ordinary. This is a fresh... Um, rose sugar lip balm that I love to use and then this is a little sample of the Clinique Moisture Surge moisturizer so that is my skincare at the moment this is a little dish that I got at Michael's it's a candle coaster um, I got I got this after I saw Katie from Luster Lux and Desi Perkins use them it's great for mixing for putting liquid foundation and stuff so it doesn't get on the back of your hand and like liquid highlighter and stuff um, these are my sprays I have this makeup setting spray from um, Jcap Beauty a little bit left of my Mario Badescu aloe cucumber green tea spray and then this is a little mini spray from Tarte so this is where a lot of my makeup lives this is an acrylic makeup organizer that I got on Amazon and it probably only cost me like $15 and it has made a huge difference in how I can organize my makeup um, I also think it's really pretty it's just a great way to display your makeup and a great way to keep it organized so we'll start with on top up here in this large compartment I don't know how you can see but it's kind of a large square I keep all of my foundation so we'll just go through them really quickly this is the it cosmetic CC which you've heard me rave about um, I have the Giorgio, Giorgio Armani, Armani power fabric foundation LA girl pro coverage foundation Milani conceal and perfect um, the L'Oreal infallible pro glow foundation which has a weird line in it um, the very last bits of this Urban Decay Naked Skin foundation, my Maybelline Matte and Poreless, and this is a Rimmel Match Perfection foundation, one of my first foundations actually. So in this compartment is where all of my foundations live, and then back here in these two little compartments is where a lot of my eye products live. So eyeliners, mascaras, so this is an, uh, just a nude eyeliner pencil from Wet n Wild, Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. Um, the Lancome Seal Burst 2 XL that I got in a play box. This is a Clinique 2-in-1 uh, mascara. It's called the High Impact Mascara. I also got this in a play box. Elf Eyebrow Pencil, which I should probably throw away because it's pretty much empty. I'll do that right now. I keep a trash can by my desk just because I'm like unwrapping packaging and stuff. Uh, I've got this uh, L'Oreal Envelber Super Slim Eyeliner. I don't love this, so I don't recommend it. Um, but if you are looking for a good liquid eyeliner, I love the Physicians Formula Eye Booster. It's got a brush tip. I don't know if you can see that, but it's got a brush tip instead of a felt tip, which I like a lot more. It doesn't dry out and fray quite as quickly. It's a dupe for the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. I've got a really old Stila um, eyeliner pencil. It's called the Smudge Stick Waterproof Eyeliner in the shade Lionfish. This tiny little sample of the Makeup Forever Aqua XL Liner. Wet n Wild Retractable Brow Pencil, the Stila Stay All Day um, Eyeliner. I do like this one, but it has a felt tip, and I prefer the brush tip. And then this is the LA Girl Pro Conceal. It just didn't fit in my concealer drawer, so I keep it back here. Oh, and I forgot to mention, but I've got some Revlon tweezers back here. I really like these. They have a good slant, very firm. I got the middle tip. Um, okay, so this is some lipsticks. This is not all of my lipsticks, and I'm missing some here, actually, because they are in my purse. So if you guys would like to see what kind of makeup I keep 
in my purse or what's in my bag video, please let me know in the comments below. I would be happy to do that. But these are just a lot of my ColourPop liquid lips and then some other liquid lipsticks. But yeah, this is where all of my liquid lipsticks live. So I've got the ColourPop and I Love Sarai matte, Ultra Matte Lip in Ariba. This is a beautiful red. I really love it. Um, this is beat up. All the silver has worn off of it because I kept it in my purse for so long. But this is the ColourPop Ultra Satin in Strut. This is a ColourPop Ultra Satin in Lion King. Like lion, like lying. Clever. This is the ColourPop Ultra Satin in November. It's a collab with Kathleen Lights. Just a really pretty, like, pinky shade. Great for spring. Um, this is the e.l.f. Lip Lacquer Gloss. It's like a nude with a little bit of shimmer in it. It costs literally a dollar. I really like it. Um, this is the ColourPop Ultra Satin in the shade Exaggerated. It's a pretty peachy kind of orangey peach color. This is one of my favorites, ColourPop Ultra Matte in Mama. It's like a burnt orangey red color. This is the ColourPop Ultra Matte in Lumiere 2, another Kathleen Lights collab. Um, and then this is the ColourPop Ultra Matte in the shade Avenue. It's a really dark, pretty red that's good for fall, winter. This is the NYX Lip Lingerie in the shade 15 Bustier. And then last but not least, we have the NYX Lip Lingerie in the shade Push Up. And then back here in this last compartment that's kind of behind the lips, I keep my liquid highlighter. So I have my two for Makeup Revolution. I have the shades Starlight and Champagne. I really like these. They're very pretty and very, very metallic. And then I have this is a stick foundation from e.l.f. that I don't use very often, but I just keep it back there because it's it fits. It's uh, very full coverage, very thick. And then this is the Peter Thomas Ralph 24 Karat Gold Pure Luxury Lift and Firm Prism Cream that I got in a play box. I really like this stuff. It's super, super pretty. So that is the top part of this organizer. And this also comes off. So like if I wanted to put it over here next to it, I could also do that. Okay, moving on to these drawers. So there's two small drawers and then two longer drawers in here. This first drawer holds a lot, um, all of my concealers. So in here I have the NARS Soft Matte Concealer. This is a sample of the It Cosmetic CC in another shade. My two ColourPop concealers, I have the shades Light and Light Neutral, 15 and 20. My Makeup Revolution Concealer, which I'm really, really liking. I love these guys and I really like this guy. I like all of these things. <laughs> I don't really hang on to things that I don't like. Um, this is a sample of the Makeup Revolution Ultra HD, a sample of the Tarte Tarte Guard Tinted Moisturizer, which I also really like. And then this is a sample of the Hourglass Stick Foundation in the shade Shell. So that's what lives in this little drawer, all my concealers and a few base products. And then in this drawer is where I keep like um, eye primers and eyebrow stuff. And this, the dregs of this um, Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer, it's pretty much all gone. I'll probably just use it up today. Um, my Urban Decay eyeshadow, uh, Original Eyeshadow Primer, CoverGirl Eyeshadow Primer, which I really like. This is a eyebrow gel from Essence. It's fine, not great. Um, an eye base from Laura Mercier. This is a primer, the Urban Decay Optical Illusion Primer I really like, good for filling in the pores. Um, and then this is the Essence Make Me Brow Tinted Brow Gel. And then I have my e.l.f. Um, Lock On Liner Brow and Eyeliner Cream in there that I use for my brows. So that's what lives in this little drawer. All right, next into this long drawer is where a lot of my eyeshadows live. So um, mostly cream eyeshadows, but we have a few powders in here as well. These are, is this, this is a pigment set from MAC that I got for Christmas, probably like five or six years ago from my mom. So they're all, um, most of these colors were limited edition and aren't sold anymore. But this one is Reflex Gold, which I think is still sold. It's a glitter, but then we've got like a green, a brown, and a pretty pinky and pinky gold and a rosy gold that I think I wore on my wedding day. These are two ColourPop Supernova shadows. I have the shades Walk of Fame and running in orbits. These are really pretty metallic shadows. I have this little Smashbox eyeshadow duo that came in a play box with a little mirror in there. Hey! Um, these are my little mini Stila glittering glows. I've got Diamond Dust, Kitten Karma, and Rose Gold Retro. This is a ColourPop Super Shock shadow that I think is pretty much dead in the shade Lovely. I don't think they sell this anymore either because I got it on sale. And then this is my NYX. Um, lip, lid Laundry Matte in the shade 16. Does it have a color name? Re Revel. I really like this guy. It's a pretty mauve color. And then these two palettes um, I keep in here. They're from e.l.f. I think they are like $6 each. This is the contour palette. This is the contour palette, which I don't use a whole lot anymore, so I should probably give it away. But it has a, it's really good for beginners. It has a highlighter, a setting powder, a bronzer, and a contour color in here. Super handy. Super good for beginners. And then this is a blush palette, which I still use all the time and really like. There's just four blush colors in here. There's like a peachy shade, a pink shade, a more a darker pink shade, and then like a mauve burgundy-ish color. I really like this. The formula on these are great. 
so I keep those in here as well just because they fit really perfectly so that's what's in this eyeshadow drawer and then finally in this bottom drawer here is where I keep more lips I have a lot of lips so all of these are ColourPop lippy pencils in a bunch of different colors. These are the only three eyeliners that are lip liners that I own. I have an Essence, an Elf, and a Kiko Milano, a red, a pink, and like a another pink nude color. Well, one's more nude and one's more pink. You can kind of tell. But so these are a bunch of ColourPop lippy sticks. I really like the lippy sticks from ColourPop. They you can get them in a couple different finishes and the matte x is really nice if you don't like a liquid lipstick but you still want a matte lip so these all came in a little set and i like these because they come with like the lipstick on one side but with a lip liner on the other so you have a corresponding lip liner for each lipstick um i have a bunch of shades of these we've got crack me up which is um the same color as beeper which is one of their most popular shades gold digger mirror mirror Capiche and NYX so you can kind of see the colors on there but this is like a crazy kind of like brownie nude a, a more pinky nude a very a pretty like pinky purple it's a lot like Lion King this is like a brownie nude and then this is a dark wine purple and we've got three of the actual lippy sticks in the full size I've got um, secret stash which is a really pretty dark like brick red color drop top which is a creme finish I have like a peachy color and then this color this bright pink is called barely there I've actually never worn it because it's so pink like so hot pink but maybe one day I'll get the chutzpah to wear it so those are my lipsticks I as I'm sure you can tell I love uh, everything anything everything from Colourpop this is a Revlon matte balm crown which I wore at my wedding and have not worn since I've had it for ages for my oldest makeup products in my collection still actually um, this is my Lancome Matte Shaker in the shade Fly Me to Maroon, which I'm obsessed with. If you haven't seen my favorites video, I'll link it up here. I love that. This is the ColourPop Liquid Catsuit in the shade Nice to Fuchsia. These are really great liquid lipsticks from the drugstore. Some of the shades are um, a little iffier than others. I think the lighter, like more nudie shades are a little iffy, but I love this shade. It's great. This is the Anastasia Gloss in the shade Vintage. Got in a play box. This is a Bite Beauty lipstick in the shade Mimosa, which is a really pretty like hot red shade that I got at TJ Maxx actually. Always check there for makeup. They have great makeup at great prices. Pro tip. And then these are two of the LA Girl matte lips. I really like these. They stay on forever and will not wear off. I have the shade Instinct and Fleur, I believe. This is like a peachy pinky. I don't know. It's a great color. Cool, very unique. And then this is a super hot orange red, which I love. So that's what I keep in this drawer here. And that is everything that I keep on top of my desk. Moving down here to the drawer is where I keep the rest of my stuff. So we'll start in here. These little organizers I got at Dollar Tree, like when I was a freshman in college, they fit perfectly in this drawer. I love them. So in here we've got all of my blushes and highlights and contours. So this is a contour stick from Jordana. This is a little sample of the new Hourglass highlighters. This is Champagne Flash. The Trustique Highlight Shade in the shade Maldives, I believe. Yeah, Maldives Luminescent. It's fine. Um, this is a little contour or bronzer blush duo from e.l.f. in the shade Turks and Caicos. And then we've got my Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso. Colourpop Flexitarian Highlighter. The Essence Satin Touch Blush in the shade Satin Love. This is like a $3 blush and it's amazing. The Tarte Blush in Party, part of the Sephora gift last year. My Wet n Wild Cushion Contour. The Essence Pure New Highlight. This is gorgeous. It works well as a highlight or as like a horror face powder. My Butter Bronzers. I have the shade Light Bronzer, which I actually got by accident. It's really orange, so I wouldn't recommend that one. But my original Butter Bronzer, which you know if you've watched me for any amount of time that I am in love with this. And my gorgeous Wet n Wild highlighter and precious petals, 100% recommend that. And then this is my um, Man Nicer Sisters trio from the Balm. And here, there's three highlights. There's Mary Lou, Cindy Lou, and Betty Luminizer. They're all gorgeous. I honestly use this one as like a bronzer topper, and this one as a blush topper because they're a little like pink. This has like a bronzy shift and a pinky shift. But Mary Lou is like a classic, gorgeous champagne highlight. Love it. Okay, and this segment is just the miscellaneous lips. I've got this is a gloss from Makeup Revolution. 
bunch of essence, heart, um, a lash glue, a lip balm from NYX. This is a pretty good lipstick that I bought when I was in France. Um, this is a Kat Von D's K-Dub. This is a red glittery lipstick from Laura Mercier that I don't know what I'll ever wear. And this is a purple glittery lipstick from Urban Decay that I also don't know when I'll ever wear. But sometimes play boxes send you weird things. It's the risk that I'm willing to take. So that all lives in here. Here's some hair elastics and my eyelashes that I never wear. A hair oil that I love. A, my pencil sharpener. This holds the Nivea Men Post Shape Balm that I use as a primer. This is some miscellaneous, miscellaneous skincare. So some masks, exfoliator, shea butter. This is where my sponges live. Back here we've got some play bags and some wipes, some extra loose powder, my NYX glitter primer, this is my Cody Airspun, my favorite loose powder, and then this is a bronzer from Makeup Revolution. Then over here is where my palettes live. So these two palettes are from Makeup Revolution as well. And they are dupes for the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palettes. So this one's the chocolate bar, this one's a semi-sweet chocolate bar. I've been wanting these palettes, the chocolate bar palettes for ages, like before I got into makeup, but they're just so expensive. And then I found out that they had these dupes, which are really pretty true to the colors, and the formula's not bad at all. So each of these is $15. One of the Too Faced palettes, it's like $48, I think. So I got both of these for less than the price of one of those palettes, and they perform really well. I just don't end up using them very often. So those live in the back here. My Too Faced from the peach palette which I love it's great for springtime so I'm excited to start using this again all the pinks and peachy colors obviously <laughs> this is a ColourPop face duo that they don't actually sell anymore it's called the knockout it's got like a peachy blush and a peachy gold kind of highlight in there it's super pretty this is my coastal scents individual shadows palette so coastal scents <clears throat> sells individual shadows but for really a quite affordable price for the quality I think these cost usually like two or two fifty each, but you can get them for a dollar. Sometimes they have sales, um, so I put them in this magnetic palette. And then these are shadows that I pulled out of some really old, like Too Faced and Urban Decay palettes. Put them in here in this magnetic palette. This is the Too Faced Bad Habit, um, not Too Faced Bad Habit Beauty Retro Love palette. It's dupe for the Anastasia Subculture palette. Um, it's ten dollars. It it works well and it has pretty colors, but the mattes. You just kind of have to work with them a little bit, so if you're willing to like do the work to build them up and understand that they, it's a $10 palette, so the quality is not going to be quite as good as the original Subculture palette, then I would recommend it, but it's kind of hard to work with. And then we've got, of course, my lovely Jaclyn Hill palette, which you've seen me use before. It's gorgeous, but if you haven't seen me use it, I'll leave a link to a video where I use it up here. This is my Morphe 35O palette, the first Morphe palette I ever had. Um, my Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette, I love this one. I did a three looks, one palette with this. I'll link it up here as well. Super gorgeous shades in here. My Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour palette, I love this. I use it all the time. This is a really old palette that I bought Forever 21, um, but sometimes I use these shades as highlights. And then finally, my Tarte Tarlet and Bloom. I love this to death. This is my number one recommendation for a beginner, just like a neutral palette that's really good for every day. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that quick look into how I store my makeup and all the makeup that I have. If you would like to see um, me use any of those items that you saw in my little makeup collection in a video, leave me a comment down below. I'd be happy to make a video on any of those products. Um, just gotta let me know. I hope you enjoyed the video. That's all I've got for today. Um, if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe. I'm really trying to get to 100 subscribers and we're getting there slowly. So please um, subscribe to my channel and I will see you in another video. Bye!